The home has been here since 1937. The house had a few different owners over the years, had a couple bad additions that really were, uh, didn't match the aesthetic of the home. As with any remodel project, there's always going to be challenges. Just making sure we're following through to the architect's vision and our vision it can be very challenging at times. Our firm specializes in both residential and commercial architecture. We really enjoy getting into uh, the period it was designed and maintaining that architectural quality of the structure. We wanted to capitalize on the good and take away the bad. What's very unique about the home is the simplicity of the design. Italian Romanesque style architecture. There are some lolly columns and wrought iron detail that you just don't see anymore. And he just talked about, you know, keeping an open mind to laying things out a little differently. And we took the opportunity to you know, really maintain these architectural elements. Probably the most challenging aspect of the house is low ceilings. I encouraged the Farinas to maintain these low ceiling levels because that's the quality of the home. We wanted the house to be newer and upgraded, but we kind of wanted to capitalize on the historical features of the home. And then as we move into newer areas, we would have the opportunity to open and expand that a little bit. We are going to leave the stairs and the ironwork for the stairs. It will be refinished. We will keep that. We'll keep the wood flooring upstairs. But all the wiring, the electrical wiring will be placed, all of the ductwork and all the plumbing lines, um, sewer lines, all of that will be replaced out to the street. We are trying to find a balance of real life, family, home, somewhat traditional, but bringing in all the new products, the new technologies, having it all come together and make sense and look good so that when somebody walks in the home, they can picture themselves living there.